Greetings fellow dragon fruit growers, this is Paul, and I'm excited to try my first yellow Columbiana. Now I sourced this one at Wallace Ranch back in the fall 2019, and I'm really excited to taste it. It's a yellow skin, white fleshed fruit native to South and Central America. I'd assume that this cultivar is from Colombia, hence the name Columbiana. Now it does take quite a long time to develop, as you can see here, the buds developed in around August, the middle of August. August 19th is when I took this photo. Then the flower opened October 10th, 2021, and it grew at a pretty decent rate, surprisingly, until November hit. And I took this photo November 17th. Then it really slowed down as winter set in, and then it started to turn yellow at the end of spring. Well, end of winter, early spring, I should say. And look at it now. It's been on this branch for 203 days, and you know it's ready to eat when the spines brush off easily. You can see just how easy these spines brush off, and that means it's definitely ripe. Now I did use a toothbrush. A lot of the commercial growers use wire brushes, but those can be a little hard on the fruit. So let me finish brushing off all of these lovely little spines and let's get ready to go taste this dancing fruit. I'm really excited to try it. I'm going to remove this off of the branch and then put it in the fridge for a few hours, and then we'll give it a taste review and test the bricks. What a petite fruit. Look at that, just 17 hundredths of a pound. Good thing I don't need to share this with anyone. Now, I have seen larger fruit on the mother plant at Wallace Ranch, but they were overripe, but they were easy, easily double this size. So this is the plant's first fruit, so let's see how it does. It had two actually, but it did abort one of them in the winter after it set fruit. Look at that, not much to eat. <laughs> Must be like, what, a dozen seeds in there? That's funny. Well, let's go ahead and see and take a brick score. Okay, so that's ready. Texture feels slightly overripe. Definitely has enough juice in there to get a sample. There we go. So just 14.7, that is pretty low. Let's see if it tastes like a 14. A little bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. It does have some sweetness. And you can see it's barely any flesh. It does taste a lot like a lot of store-bought Peloras, but people that have reviewed them and grown these from home say that the seeds do not taste as earthy and I would totally agree with that. It's actually quite pleasant. It's very small. Tastes a lot like Pallora to me. Not bad. I would give this about a seven or eight out of 10. Nah, I'm gonna stick with the seven, my first intuition. Definitely not number one on my two grow variety list more of a novelty fruit, I guess you could say. And I guarantee you the bricks will probably improve at least 10 points, hopefully next season as the plant gets more mature. So we'll give it another shot in a few years. We'll see how it does. There you go, give us a like and a subscribe. And there you go, that is Yellow Columbiana. 
a Selenocereus megalanthus that sat on the vine. This fruit sat on the vine for 203 days. All right, there you go. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.